With the sensors plugged into the spark unit and the unit turned on, you should see this screen. To build the bumper testing experiment, two values are needed for the testing, maximum velocity and maximum force. One way to display the information on the screen of the spark is by the number, but the values can also be displayed in a chart or graph form. We want to build the experiment, so we press the build icon. We want to show the velocity, so we press velocity, and we want it to be displayed in a number format, so we can press the number. You might have to press the icons a couple times to get it to record what your intentions are. We want the force, so I'm going to press force, and again I'm going to press the number icon. We now have listed on the right hand side both the velocity and the force shown in the number format. We press OK. We now have half the screen with velocity, half the screen with force. We want to record maximum force and maximum velocity, so to do that we press the number icon, we then press the sigma, and we press maximum and OK. Now we are recording maximum velocity. We do the same thing with force. To get to the force, I press the number icon again here. The sigma disappears for velocity. I press the number icon here, and now the sigma is appearing for force. I press sigma. have to press it again. Press maximum. Press OK. Press the number icon again and the sigma disappears. We now are recording maximum velocity and maximum force. The sampling rate should be as high as possible without, without exceeding the limits of the motion sensor to ensure the maximum force is recorded. To change the sampling rate, you press the icon at the bottom of the screen that looks like a clock, press sampling rate and then adjust the sampling rate by coming, put it, pressing the down arrow until the 100 shows, press 100, and then press OK. You are now prepared to run a trial. The sensors I have hooked up are not on a track, so I'm not going to get real values. But to begin the trial, you press the green arrow, and the sampling begins. After the cart strikes the bumper, you press the red arrow and the sampling stops. The velocity of the cart should be consistently around 1.1 meters per second. If it is far, far off from that value, reduce the sampling rate to 50 hertz and retry. To do that, again, you press the icon at the bottom of the screen go back to the sampling rate, select 50, and press OK. If at any time during the building of your experiment you get to a point where you're having problems changing the values, you can always press the home icon at the top of the screen and it'll allow you to go back to the very beginning and start over.